Hey y'all, welcome back. It's your boy, Old Snap It Sam. And uh, let's get down and dirty with this uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. A lot of you guys have uh, requested and asked or uh, begged for me to play this game. And I played it without you. I did decided not to wait. Um, I could not wait. Um, I'm sorry to get this computer set up and the health thing in the new uh, house. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm running it without you. I asked for three days off when the game was at lunch, and, uh, I played, I trucked through it. So, to keep it special with you guys, I'm going to do a new game plus with you. You guys know how new game pluses work. Generally, your, whatever skills you attained, or whatever levels or special weapons, stuff, you get to carry over them, essentially. This game, it's just the professor level you made it to, and the skills, and etc. And, uh, aesthetics, so, like... If someone had a time skip outfit you liked, you can always have it on for them, apparently. Things I'm really not going to do. Um, cool. If you have any Fire Emblem Amiibles, try scanning them at the gazebo and see what happens. Listen, you just get seeds and shit. You don't even get weapons. It's pointless. Uh, we're going to start a new game plus. So I'm going to take the file that I uh, finished with. Start a new one. We're going to go with normal because um, I'm... Not ready to get embarrassed on a fucking let's play. Uh, I'm gonna hit no, I don't care what other people are doing. And uh, we're gonna introduce you to my house, the Black Eagles, um, Edelgard for president. I mean, actually, we quiet now. So you can watch this. I will tell you, when we saw this scene at E3, it was kind of laggy, and it, I, it had me a little shook. And I'm not going to lie, I love this game to pieces. Like, I'm still playing it. But, um, it's a lot of wanky, wonky backgrounds. Yeah, he pissed off Dracula. FYI, this for Fire Emblem is phenomenal. I guess the love of the to Called the Red Canyon. You'll die. <laughs> die. Die. Oof. You took everything that I loved. Maybe this game is rated E. Look at all that blood. Ugh. Girl, don't touch the blood. That's how you get hepatitis. Ugh. He's gone now. Ugh, it's on her fingers. Ugh. That's, ugh, that's nasty. Oof. Classic flash forward, and uh, we can get this game underway. Every good anime game has a lowly in a chair, so here's ours. Oh my. What could have brought you here? Uh, uh, oh, my wicked is moving. 
most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Hmm. First playthrough, I was male by left. Um, for the sake of this game, we're gonna be female by left. Yeah. Yeah. Just because she's so cute and I never get to be her, so we're just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna leave that go. I've seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Uh, let's go piss her off a little. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Fine, 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 fine. I get it. No room for fun. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Ooh, hmm. Should we go with Pileth or should we go with something? Hmm, we're gonna go. Eh. And we're gonna do something funny. We're just gonna. We're gonna name. For the sake of the channel, we're gonna name her Snappy. Just cause I wanna see people. I just want to see the word snappy in the text bubble. Sue me. I'm the god here. I get to decide what goes in the dialogue box. So don't tell me what to do. Huh. Yeah. I shall not ever grow a little snappy. To the sound of human names. <laughs> you must possess a day of birth as well. Bitch. I could put anything. Anything and this bitch is gonna say, Oh, it was my birthday too. But my real birthday will suffice. Wow, wonders never cease. It seems hmm, it all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for mm. lollies and naps. Lollies and naps. Fortunately, or fortunately for you guys, I'm not a lollycon. Like, this little girl's body, ancient deity thing does not, it just doesn't do it for me. But so this is cool. Hey, you can romance her in this game, which, like, kind of upsets me. Like, I don't want to marry no ancient child. You having that dream again? It's cool. I'm going to go with the creep answer. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case... Just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield, risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get your... Okay, time to get moving. Our next job, I told you before, it's far from here. So... Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting. Oh, Gerald, damn it. Sir, sorry to barge you, but your presence is dead. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope bandits. Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were oh, there. She our is. Bay in all her glory. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're out And after uh, our lives. my husband. Not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so I calm so considering much. the situation. I. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. Come on, let's move. I'm gonna save it here. Just in case. Oh, and then in this screen, you can make your little Byleth jump. I don't know why she's not hopping. Hop, hop. There we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. Ah, uh, skirmish at dawn. Let's hey, guys. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. Over take down the um, in front for for you first timers, this is a tactical role-playing game, and um, you get to see 
get to see me play this puppy that I've played a jillion times, and I was super obsessed with the whole series. I have every 3DS game, every collector's edition I could possibly get my mitts on. Um, but super easy. Movement is like a chessboard, really, like mounted units, horses, knights, rooks, pawns, like people only move in certain, um, people only have certain ways to move, and uh, you gotta pretty much route your way to victory. Uh, without making sure that your um, characters die. We're playing on permadeath here because we're not pussies. Stay focused. Um, but I'm not playing on hard. And if someone has a bubble, um, like a text bubble with them, you can talk you before you make your move. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what. So apparently we're established mercenaries, you. which uh, okay. You would please lend us your strength. You and your old dad. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you and stuff. Hey, I love him so much. Okay. So I'm going to wait. Because I don't care to move with Violet. I will We're going to move Edelgard, the queen. We're just going to position her right here so that other people don't try to murder her. I'm going to attack. Easy peasy. Check this out. I like to speed up the animations a little. I think it's cool to look at. So that's the first move. Weapon durability, guys. So if you use your weapon and you bring its durability to zero, you can still fight with broken weapons, but your might and hit rate will be reduced and enemies will make follow-ups easily. Uh, but be careful with your weapon. You cannot repair them in battle. Yes, of course, you need to repair them at the blacksmith I'll afterwards, but uh, that costs money. So you gotta be pretty smart with how you... Um, Use your moves and make sure that you don't waste anything. Oh, Dimitri. Is that all? He's cute. I don't like his spaghetti hair. Makes me uncomfortable. There's a battle menu. So if you click on anything else, um, you see your units, your conditions to win, guide, options, bookmarks, just in case you have to leave. And uh, that's about it. Bows, combat Ready with bows. Um, they have archers generally have to attack from a distance unless they have a specific weapon that allows them to do head-on damage um depends on like i said the items you have but archers are like some of my favorite classes they're so tricky and then of course there's terrain effects so woods um give you uh more um evasion um mountains make you uh, i mean depends where you go really but uh, everything gives you a different uh, type of terrain effect. I'm having like super. I can't even keep my brain focused, yes. y'all. I just Good. got out You're of a power the... shift. I love this fucking game, though. Like I can play this shit all night. We're going to move everyone into the grass because that's what Jiro wants to do. We have to appease the tutorial gods because if not, you know, they'll come after us. Well, I wouldn't want to come after Adelbar. It's probably gonna die now. I didn't think this one through. Oh, thank god. She it's like a tank at level one. That's awesome. Oh, baby. Uh just so y'all know, we are going black eagles because I love her. At the end of this fight, you'll get propositioned. Even though you don't take them up on their offer till like the next day. The combat. combat arts reduce your weapon durability, y'all. So use them wisely. I don't really. I find that once your character's leveled up enough, you really don't. Majority of combat arts really don't do much. Also, really cool thing that they did for this game that they did not in any of the other ones. Uh, you can zoom in. See that? You can zoom in and see it like Koei Tecmo style. Like, you can see the terrain, your people, just click on whoever you want, like Sinan and Dimitri running around. Hey, y'all, gonna fuck shit up here. Ooh. I super appreciate that. So I don't really use it, it's not that practical. I love looking. And it's cool when you have, like, battalions, or you're doing, like, a linked attack, or you have people with you, but you get to see them walking with you. I think that's super interesting. I'm a sucker for small details like that. I'm, like, too invested in these games. Ugh, I love the Edelgard so much. Like, fucking bad. Edelgard for Smash. No, no, I don't get her in Smash. I'm fucking looting soccer on myself. We got literally Banjo and Kazooie. I don't know who the fuck was asking for that because it was not me. 
Yeah, see, so we're gonna use a curve shot with Blob because um, he can't reach otherwise. <sighs> Beautiful man. I love him. Love him. And he's by. And that's like the best part of me. Not even gonna lie. Literally almost swayed me from abandoning Edelgard. Is the fact that there's a by nobleman and I love. I love both of those things very much. That is that. I like that the game's special ability for your character shows up before they explain what that is. What you just saw is the Crest of Flames, and they explain that in like two chapters from now. I'm just like, okay, we're just gonna totally skip an explanation as to why you heal every time you do damage. But okay, but we're just gonna go with that. Uh, me. Guys, you'll like have to forgive me when this thing slides around out of the nowhere. This is my good controller. I'm having like serious Joy-Con drifting. Yeah, almost killing me. And the other two sets of Joy-Cons are doing the same thing. You, you need to do more, Gerald. You need to check back there, Dad. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy. Yeah, so they have linked attacks in this game. So if you're near a friend or an ally at space or two away, you do more damage, and you have a higher. Uh, your enemy has uh, less evasion. It's pretty neat. The old games have like pair up, which was super cool. Cause, um, I mean can't really complain because this game does the same exact thing when you zoom in you still see both of them so you see both of the units that are um, doing the attack but um, I kind of miss them walking around like a unit it was cute especially the care the characters you married off together I'd be like oh look at them bonding on the brink of death <laughs> guys but like can we, can we just like get it together because this drifting is gonna make me cry like for real for real Oh, fuck, I should have healed. And Violet's all the way the fuck over here. Jesus. Ugh. This joy gun. Gonna kill me. Okay. Oh, yeah, it'll work well with that. One step at a time. Yeah, we need to get this shit together. See, guys, plan your shit out. Plan your shit out, otherwise, your character's gonna die, and we have permadeath on. So, you better believe I'm not trying to be fucking embarrassed for YouTube Who's next? by losing my main lord. Actually, I'm pretty sure the game would just restart because it's you. Like, you the professor and then, like, the main lord can't die if I'm not mistaken. Or else it's, like, actually game over. Um, luckily for me in the main run, it didn't happen to me once. Um, I lost some guys, but I would just, uh use the game's turn back mechanic to uh, not die. Um, so I made it to the end with no uh, no deaths, but super fucking hard. The game was super OP, and I didn't have um, enough skills to recruit people, so like I went in with bare bones Unexpected. for the final battle. Surprised I even fucking made it. Um, eight of cards will fuck you up, bro. And as you level them up, like, their animations change a little, they get better, um, when they class up, everything's a little cooler. Uh, and then you have your random, uh, RNG stat buffs, which are garbage, look, two out of nothing. I need more stats in that game. Never fucking survive. I literally have never seen this with female Byleth, so this is kind of cool. She's a little bit different. Like, I like that they actually animated the, um, the protagonist um, expressions a little bit more. She looks more shocked when she's talking to Sophus, and I really like that. I appreciate it. I think it's cute. 
After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? If you don't think I'm making not. female Violet a lesbian, you got another thing well, coming. Well, then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis, but I'm also known as The Beginning. Hmm. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... Uh, what are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name, and just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a ch- Phooey! That child just saved- oh. It's not a piss Correct. Off. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to say just the- Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. Just trying to get so all fun. them uh, skill links up. Or, uh, it is only I mean, uh, social links? No, wait. Still, that, both of those are persona. However, did I manage that? Supports. That's what they are. When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now, what to <laughs> do? Eh, I'm gonna go with the funny answer. That is ridiculous. Oh, of course. I must turn the... <laughs> yes, I do believe it can be done. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. That's my rewind noise. Hey, over here. Huh? Ugh, I love you, Claude. I stand you. I stand a king. Hey, did you just? The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down. Hey, the thieves are oh, yes. The students seem to be unharmed. Uh, why him? Dad and him have uh, some history. It sounds uh, pretty actually like everyone has these weird affections for everyone else and it's it's pretty suspicious. Um, also guys, at the end of the battle, it'll mark an MVP, and in this game, MVPs do nothing else. Don't you recognize me? It's Aloise, your old... Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace, huh? You haven't changed a bit, Aloise, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, right. Goodbye. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I. Garrig Mock Monastery. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run. Even I wouldn't dare run from the night. The Knights of Saros? They do seem like... Ah, it seems your presence is required. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. I love you so much, Edelgard. You're so cute. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, 
That would be Jarrett, former captain of the Knights of Saros. I didn't know he was a captain. That's my answer. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend uh, your ear as we travel. Let you bend whatever you want, baby. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrett. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to everything <laughs> would have worked out if these two hadn't followed uh, me because love of him. him. Every single one of those bandits chased up. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here <laughs> I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of a His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a <laughs> You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit oh, behind cat every fight word. between the two divas. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being personally as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say you're me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? In any <laughs> case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider the I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow oh. me to finish my own. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of except please. Do consider returning to the king. Whoa, there. You two sure are hasty. Try. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back <laughs> to the monastery before begging for favors. This is why I love him. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So capable straight. Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, look at Shirley! <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely off. All right, She's got a lot of shit to say, and I love her. It's for it. time She's to so head fucking back shady. To the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know. My baby. Beautiful. Yes, I thought literally the same. feel like oh, I'm gonna cosplay but... Claude at some point. Oh, I may be sleeping, but... And there we go, y'all. That's everything for today. This was our prologue. Catch you in the next episode. Remember to like, share. Comment, subscribe to your boy, Old Snippet Sam. Part 1.